everyone, this is Shastra. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm extremely excited about today's video because in today's video, we are going to talk about a drink, which is kombucha, that has taken the spotlight recently. Now, the question is, is it really as amazing as people claim it to be or is it just another passing health fad? Let's talk about it. You have probably heard people call it a miracle for a gut health or even a detox potion. But how much of that is actually true? So in this video, we are going to break down the most popular myths about kombucha, separate the facts from the hype, and figure out if this fizzy drink is really worth all the attention that it is getting nowadays. So grab your favorite drink and let's get it started. Kombucha has taken the world by storm. It's fizzy, trendy, and comes with a whole lot of health claims. So from boosting your gut health to detoxifying your body, it's been called the ultimate wellness drink. But is it this bubbly brew really as amazing as it sounds, or is it just another overhyped fat? Let's discuss what exactly it is with the help of science and research. So what exactly is kombucha? It's a fermented tea made with just three ingredients, tea, sugar, and a special culture called scoby, short for symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. These ingredients are used in a process called fermentation. But what does fermentation exactly mean? So when you add sugar to the tea and introduce the SCOBY, the symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, the yeast starts breaking down the sugar. And during this process, yeast converts the sugar into ethanol. It's a type of alcohol and carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide produced during this process will provide fizziness to this drink. And now the bacteria present in the culture will transform this produced alcohol into acetic acid and gluconic acid. Now, as the sugars are being fermented, Beneficial bacteria and yeast will multiply, turning the tea into a probiotic-rich beverage. These probiotics are supposed to help support digestion, balance your gut, and even boost your immune system. That's why kombucha is often considered a super drink for your gut health. However, let's get into one of the biggest myths about kombucha, that it's a cure-all. You have probably heard people that kombucha can cure diseases, detox your body, or work wonders for your gut health. But here's the truth. While kombucha does contain probiotics, it's definitely not a miracle drink. It's not going to magically fix your gut or heal any serious health issues. So let's take a closer look at why kombucha might not be a miracle for some people claim it is. In a 2017 review published in Alcohol Research and Health, researchers looked into the effect of low-level alcohol exposure, like small amounts found in kombucha. First of all, please do not consider kombucha as an alcohol-free beverage because regular consumption of industrial kombucha could lead to a cumulative alcohol intake. So for individuals sensitive to alcohol or those avoiding it for health, cultural or religious reasons, this could be a concern for you. So although most industries keep the alcohol levels up to 0.5% or even less, the research shows that even trace amounts of alcohol present in kombucha can contribute to metabolic and oxidative stress, which could impact your liver health over time. It's also important to note that alcohol content in kombucha can vary. Research has shown that it may increase over time, especially if it's stored in properly or beyond the expiration date. And that actually makes so much sense now because extended shelf life or warm storage conditions can enhance the process of fermentation, raising the alcohol levels above the regulatory limit of 0.5%. There's one 2019 review published in the journal Nutrients that shed some light on what we really know about kombucha's effect, especially on our gut health. So let's break it down. While kombucha is often advertised as a magical drink for gut, the review highlights a big gap in the research. That means there just aren't enough human studies to support all those health claims. Because most of the research we have is either done on animals or in lab, not real people like you and me. And that means we can't really say for sure if kombucha does what it claims to do like improve digestion or boost immunity or detox your body. So according to this article inside FMCG, fermented foods like kombucha can cause some people to experience unwanted side effects. While of course many people enjoy kombucha without any issues, others may face reactions that can impact their overall gut health and well-being. So let's understand this. There is a gut which already has a flora that means microbiota already exist in your gut system. And therefore, adding more probiotics to an already existing gut flora can cause 
more gas and bloating, especially when your gut is not used to it. But don't worry, it passes when you get used to it. But another issue is that some people face headaches after drinking kombucha. And this could be because something called histamine intolerance. So basically, kombucha, like other fermented food, has histamine in it. And for some people, their bodies don't handle it well. Let me tell you briefly what histamine is. It is a chemical inside of your body which is released as a defense response. Means when your body detects any allergen, infection or even injury, it releases histamine to fight off the issue. However, histamine intolerance occurs when your body has difficulty breaking down histamine. Imagine a person already is histamine intolerant and we add more histamine into their body which leads to symptoms like raised heartbeats, headaches, flushed skins and uh, hives or rashes. While kombucha is generally safe for many people, it's not for everyone. So if you start to experience bloating, headaches or other digestive issues after drinking it, it might not be a drink for you and it's a sign that kombucha isn't the best choice for your gut health and even your overall body. A study published in ACS Food Science and Technology in 2024 looked at how the bacteria and yeast in kombucha might affect our gut health. It found that while kombucha contained good bacteria, probiotics that can benefit digestion, the exact effects on our gut health are still unclear. Let's understand that every person's sweat microbiota is different from the other person. So kombucha might be healthy option for one person. It doesn't mean it can be a healthier option for another person too. So the researchers also found that the environment where kombucha is made can change the type of bacteria present in it, which could affect its taste and health benefits. The research showed a decrease in probiotic scores from 70 to 68.9 and an increase in pathobiont from 98.83 to 100, suggesting that kombucha consumption did not enhance beneficial gut bacteria and may have allowed for an increase in potentially harmful bacteria. So according to all of these research articles that we have gone through, it is crucial to understand what public recommendations they hold. Moderation is key. While kombucha can offer potential health benefits like probiotics, it's important not to overdo it. Because too much kombucha, especially the store-bought versions, can introduce unwanted alcohol or cause digestive discomfort. So watch out for alcohol content as well. If you are sensitive to alcohol or avoiding it for any health, cultural or religious reasons, remember that kombucha contains trace amounts of alcohol and over time, if it's stored improperly, the alcohol content can increase. Listen to your body. If you start feeling bloated, get headaches or notice other symptoms after drinking kombucha, it might be time to cut back. For people with histamine intolerance or digestive issues, kombucha might not be the best choice for them. Consult doctor. As always, when it comes to any new health trend, it is a good idea to always check in with a healthcare professional, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or are pregnant or breastfeeding. And here's a tip from me. Don't just jump on every health trend you see on social media, especially when it comes from non-certified health enthusiasts. So before you get hooked on any new health craze, do a little research and make sure it's right for you. And if you're short of time, no worries, just hit the like button, drop a comment and subscribe for more health insights. And please hit the bell icon. It gives me motivation to create videos of this sort. Thank you so much. Uh, wait, now I'm curious, do you drink kombucha or has it worked wonders for you? Or have you even experienced any side effects? If yes, then let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Thank you.